Okay, I've got a headlight problem on the 2001 Dodge Dakota. Now you may have a similar problem uh, with another vehicle and some of the diagnosis I go through may apply. So let me first demonstrate what the issue is. Well, it's an intermittent problem. It goes on and off. I was kind of surprised that banging the light locally made it go on. I wonder if that's just a random occurrence. So I'm going to go try and see if I can make it go off. Ah, see? I didn't even go over there. All right, well. Um, my wiggling of the wires and slapping of the headlight doesn't seem to really have any kind of effect on what's going on with the light. So I'm suspecting that the problem is something else now. And so I'm going to look uh, somewhere else. Twelve point. 31 volts. Can you see that? Twelve point three volts. So the the headlights are off now, so it's so obviously the fuse is active with the ignition off, which makes sense. And you know, going to the headlight switch circuit is a steady twelve point three volts, so nothing going on here. Hmm. I also noticed, that looking at the fuses and at the wiring diagrams, there is no headlight relay on this truck. It, it goes in what's called a timer control module, which is what that fuse is for. Last night, instead of the headlight, headlight fuse, it's the timer control module. Uh, I also noticed that the lights were flashing when I closed the door. Uh, so uh, this morning I um, popped off this floor seal here and also this plastic guard. And that's the uh, timer control module right there. Okay, I'm looking for ways to diagnose this timer control module. Down here, I see on this plug, if this was pin one and this was pin two, that is red and orange, and then three, four, and five are violet and white so pin five violet and white to the right head lamp pin four violet and white to the left head lamp I know that the right head lamp works on pin five so if I can just test the voltage or continuity or amperage coming out on pin 4, then I can tell if it's sending power at least out of the central timer module correctly. Alright, I think I may have found a smoking gun here. Alright, I've got my multimeter set to voltage and right now it's uh, just uh, clicking along with a few millivolts um, just because of this battery, internal battery I suppose. I've got these probes in, this bobby pin, our safety pin is into uh, pin 4 which is the 
left headlight, the problem, no, problem headlight, and the pin five, which is the output from this uh, timing control module, which goes to the right headlight, which is uh, working. I've got this probe stuck into it. And right now, if I do a reading on the pin five, it's um, basically zero there. And the uh, headlight switch is off. Now I'm going to turn the headlight switch on. We're going to have this dinging going on. But now I'm going to check pin five. And it is now uh, 12 volts, 12.07 volts. Now the left headlight, it looks like it's currently off. So we got the problem going on. Now I'm going to check the voltage on the left headlight. And it's reading zero basically minus 1.5 millivolts all right well the left light's not coming on anymore now and uh, I don't want to wait around for it but I did I was measuring it once when the left headlight was on and this was 12 volts so it tells me that this that this timing control module is the problem it should with the headlight switch on if, if it's sensing the headlight switch correctly for the right headlight and putting out 12 volts it should be putting out 12 volts for the left headlight and it's not okay these are 8 millimeter bolts Oh, let me go disconnect the battery. All right, battery's disconnected. Looks like all the bolts are the same size. Okay, that was easy. Don't see any burning or corrosion on these pins. Actually, this would be the one to check here. There's two pins down here, nothing. No sign of corrosion. So this is what this is, it's got a piece of tape on it. Not sure what that is. And then it's got some kind of tab that holds it in there it looks like. There's another one on this side. Looks like this lid comes off. 
I'm gonna get a screwdriver. This is that, that tab that looks like it holds it, everything together. Let me drive that point of that screwdriver towards that. Oh, okay. And then there's one on the other side. It's right there. Put the screwdriver right in that seam. Okay, it looks like that popped open. Looks like it just kind of pops open. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how this goes. Goes in there like that. Let's put this over here. <clears throat> okay, well. Got a big uh, capacitor here, but it's not bulging or anything. It looks to be in good shape. Bunch of little, you know, a few chips and transistors, like transistor resistors. I suppose they are. I don't know too much about transistor electronics. Check the other side. Okay, so these these little buses, these lighter lines, which are you know in copper, they're embedded in the in this green, and they transmit a signal. Okay, so here's these pins here. I think it was pin. One, two, three, four, was it? One, two, three, four. I think it was on the top. Was it? Was it? Like. Anyway, one, two, three, four. Kind of goes in right there. There's no burning. I don't see any. Like breakage on the board and on the bottom side it would be this oh look at what's that There's something dodgy here it goes along like this. Some kind of plastic co coating that comes off. Okay, I guess that's just some plastic coating that's. And then sometimes on the bottom you can get some damage. But I don't see. Um, anything obvious okay well fast forward a week I went on eBay and I got a used timer control module Not the best solution. Uh, how do I know this one will work? Uh, and I wonder if Chrysler even makes these anymore. I think maybe they are would probably be two or three hundred bucks at least to buy one new. I 
I got the battery disconnected. And let me get a, some needle nose pliers to get these plugs off. Yeah, let's give it a try. All right, now when you replace the timing control module, apparently there is a question about whether it needs to be reprogrammed or not. This truck doesn't have any security. It doesn't have a security feature on it. So I'm hoping that it will start without the any kind of a reprogramming. Here we go. starts right up so I don't think there's going to be any issues with the reprogramming well well what do you know those are the low beams and they're both on, not flickering. And one parking light is out, but I don't know, something wrong with the bulb or the socket. Yeah. Alright. Looks like the high beams are working now. Great. So since the timer control module is in charge of a lot of the lighting, I'm going to check the uh, parking lights only. See if the tail lights are on, interior lights, instrument lights. All right, well, everything seems to be working, so I think I'm going to keep that old module in case I'm going to keep it in the, in the vehicle in case I'm going down the road and the new one or the replacement goes out. I can just plug the old one in and uh, drive it with the high beams on. Yeah, so, problem solved. <laughs>